You ready, partner? I'm ready, partner. All right. You ready? I'm ready as I ever be. Okay. So, dude, just a uh, we're I mean, this is Squatch Watchers' first ever podcast episode. Um, yeah, we're excited. I mean, uh, viewers at home, people listening on Spotify, whatever we're on, streaming on. Well, starting out, this will probably just be a YouTube video okay. only, exclusive, yeah. and then uh, we'll get Levi, the manager. Uh, well, Who Levi's is our Levi? manager. Well, Who is Levi? I was going to tell you. To uh, describe Levi to the audience, what is Levi to us? What is Levi to the Squatch Watchers? A jerk. I was gonna say manager. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was he's gonna say a, like he's a manager. I was gonna yeah. say like a awesome. He's an awesome partner. guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. If it wasn't for Levi, we would have never landed our Bass Pro yeah. affiliation. Yeah, we would have never landed. Uh, I mean, he gave our fa- our YouTube a facelift. We were just he like did. that old he school did. YouTube. I he mean, did. he handles a lot of our back end stuff. I mean, a lot of things that go through him before it reaches us now, and. Uh, He's at, he's like our he's like our homemade like uh our uh, uh what's that word I'm looking for the uh uh, uh mum, 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 mum. that word our technology There's bodyguard. a lot of words it's oh, like our, yeah. our technology bodyguard like he's our yeah. uh, our web bodyguard you know I mean yeah. Levi's a smart dude he's from Kentucky he's our bouncer he's our bouncer so he's our squatch watcher's bouncer you gotta go through him to get to us squatch watchers he'll bounce you right out yeah you gotta go through him to get yeah, to us yeah yeah and um and dude I mean I love it I love him I love how oh we love Levi board. we love Levi um, love David Levi. love Toby love David yeah. love Toby yeah um Super Dave they'll they'll eventually make their way into this every, every couple of days but this is more of like a Tate and Taylor type thing just to start out you know just to get a feel of yeah. everybody uh, well so basically you know for the longtime viewers of the channel, Squatch Watcher wise, yeah. we started in a bedroom, a dark, grainy bedroom, yeah. terrible audio. You yeah. know, and I'm, I mean, we're just trying this podcast out. This is the first one. It's the basically a test run, also yeah. the pilot episode of our podcast. So it's going to be a work in progress. So yeah. just bear with us. It'll get better as time goes on. Yeah. And um, the plan right now, I believe, is we're going to try to do one podcast a week. We're going to yeah, bring you one yeah, podcast a week. Yeah. When our manager, Levi, gets involved he's going to put it on spotify apple google play all them good places so you can listen to it on the go yeah. maybe you're working out maybe you're at home cooking maybe uh, you just like the sound of my voice yeah so this is the squatch <laughs> watchers <laughs> hour with taylor and tate yeah. happy birthday oh, to you. you just celebrated a birthday <laughs> yeah i did my birthday, happy yeah, birthday. Yeah. Oh, thanks i feel old yeah <laughs> dude yeah. whenever you did that to david that time i lost that was good it. yeah so the podcast is going to be once a week um, we're going to get on Spotify, Apple, Google Play, all the yeah. good places. Um, also, Levi is a big advocate for live stream podcast. Yeah. So, with that being said, we're going to do a normal, you know, not really scripted. We don't script nothing. It's like a studio podcast yeah. type thing, like a pre-recorded. Man, we freelance it, this. Well, the, the, yeah, free, speaking of freelancing, the word I was looking for was pre-recorded podcast. These will be pre-recorded yeah. podcasts like you're watching now. And once a month we're going to do a live stream podcast so it'll be probably the end of the month yeah we'll try to set up a live stream with levi he's going to be on there bouncing people in and out you know letting people in let people talk to us you, you post it, something negative he's got you. oh yeah well yeah yeah but like it's a q a so th- yeah. there'll be a live stream where you can actually talk to us we can talk about stuff talk bigfoot yeah. talk we're conspiracies. still going to be boots on the ground yeah people. yeah this oh, is yeah. just something to bring our viewers so, so yeah it, it, so the ones in the comments worried about us right now no we are not retired we're not hanging up our boots on the wall we are still boots on the ground first we do house calls we do normal investigations at our primary hunt location we are still bigfoot yeah. researchers and investigators we document all yeah, that and we're giving our true 100,000 yeah. subscribers that we just got thank you so much for something 100, else 000. to watch yeah that they deserve you know and we enjoy it we love it and we're just gonna keep on bringing more and we just started people's like oh you're gonna quit once you get your plaque nah the plaque nah, it's only begun it's we appreciate begun. y'all we appreciate every one of y'all yeah so yeah dude i just gotta ask like what's happening in the bigfoot world What's good? That's okay. So I got one sent to me um, through the email. It was a few days ago. Mm -hmm. It was one watching a guy and his dog play in the yard, and so you know, and and there's all sorts of factors that go in this. You did you you would question when it comes to a Bigfoot sighting. You know, why is it blurry? Why is it shaky? Why they have a camera out in the first place? I don't know. I guess the guy's filming his dog. But so it starts out the guy's filming his dog with a frisbee. They're in his yard. You know, there's a tree line in front of him. He pans up, notices something in the woods, like black and, you know, yeah, weird looking. And so he throws the camera up on it, and it just jumps up. And, I mean, it goes from, like, four foot to eight foot wow. in the woods. Yeah. And this thing starts walking towards him. And when I'm talking walk, it's like doing the, 
sort of the Patterson Gimble stuff where it's like bow legged and his arms are like really long and double jointed. Yeah. It's got long arms swinging, and the guy does ducks his phone and shakes and runs and it cuts off. Did he have a potato phone or was it like a iPhone or maybe it's okay? Phone, okay, jitterbug, so, jitterbug. so here, here's how I classify these Bigfoot sighting videos. You got mashed potato phone, which is basically yeah. crap. Like it's yeah. the worst of the worst, grainy. You know, well, there's conspiracies on. Yeah. This then stuff you got. Too. Then you got. You know, your normal potato, like a yeah. frozen potato, and then you got your baked potato. Okay. This is a baked potato. Okay. It's 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 not <laughs> great, but it's not okay. the best. So, and you know how the baked potato and stuff happens. It starts mm-hmm. of okay. We post this video. It's clear. Someone else shares it. Gets blurry. blurry yeah, blurry, the resolution blurry. just people drops think that people down. are filming with their blurry phones. No, they're probably filming clear. It's just been used over and over and over and yeah. over. And yeah. That's when it loses conspiracies. You know. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Um, ask away. Are you into conspiracies at all? I love conspiracies. That's what that's what we are. Okay. Bigfoot's still a conspiracy, know, bro. We, like know. it is and technically. I ask you like we hadn't already talked about like talking about conspiracies or not. Everybody. Well, we haven't really we haven't really rehearsed nothing. Me. We haven't talked about nothing. We don't script. This is stuff just, that's happened hey. to me this week, and I've really been thinking. I'm like, ooh, this conspiracy. Yeah. Hey, this is unscripted, man. Okay. We don't we don't script this. It's yeah. just gonna be off the dome. We'll have talking points maybe going down the road on the podcast channel, but we're gonna do mostly unscripted. So, I'm in a conspiracy. You know what? You know I am. Okay. Let's go. What you got? Okay. Okay. Bear with me, but I'm bear. You know, I drive home and I call Paige when I'm on my way home from Boone, and I'll, I'll call her, ask her if she's heard. You know, like especially the Tuesdays and Wednesdays because she's we got the baby in the evenings or she's off with the baby, and um, you know we're talking and I'll drop calls and then I dropped a call with you and I dropped a call with my buddy Kobe who who works with me who's basically family and you know and I call him back and he's always. Uh, you know, he gives me a hard time about Bigfoot, but he believes in other conspiracies that we'll talk about later on, mm-hmm. such as ice walls and, you know, the stuff you see on TikTok. But, um, <laughs> you know, here's one, man. I've got these guys at work, and they give me a hard time all the time. Oh, you go hunt Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, they sound like losers. They sound like a Looney Tune character? Yeah, no, nah, they're my buddies. I oh. like them all, but they yeah. give me a hard time sometimes about Bigfoot. I've got a couple that really are interested in it. Shout out Dusty. Oh, that's one. And and Joe, there's two. But you talked to him today a little bit. But anyway, so me and Kobe were talking. I dropped a call with you. Kobe calls me immediately. He calls me. He wears my phone out during the day, you know. And um, he, we're talking, and I'm on top of Boone coming down 321 at the Overlook. So I'm over top of all the cell phone signals. But how do I drop calls there every time? Because I'm above the cell phone signals. And our towers now are way better than what we had back in the 60s and 70s, right? You know, hot take real quick? Yeah. I don't think so. I think the old towers, the old cell phone towers, the old cell phones back in the day with the yeah. green screen and the black oh, Mario okay. looking yeah. block, block, but, pixelated well, stuff. Cell phones weren't out in the 60s. Yeah, but I'm saying... I'm talking about... The, no, I'm, I'm saying transmission signal-wise, yeah. radio signal and stuff, and, and older cell phones. Okay. okay, here's an argument. They're better than today's here's phone receptions. For you. You had to turn an antenna a certain way every every couple of hours to get TV signals. Well, now, wait, wait. Let me, let me backtrack again. There were still limitations, yeah. but I still think we have regressed as far as phone signal. Okay, okay. But, well, but, but, but. be the other side of this. No, 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 no. Here's what I'm trying to say, though. I, I'm i saying it's still it's still flawed, yeah, even yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, 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 back yeah. in the day, it was still flawed. Yeah, it's but flawed, it's regressed flawed. as yeah. times went on to even yeah. a worse flawed, yeah, if that makes yeah. sense. I mean, you know. Well, well, I, Where yeah. are you going with this computer? I want to okay, know what this well, is. Well, you know, people use tin foil and they wrap right yeah. around the antenna and you get better signal. But anyway, you drop calls. Right. And I got these guys at work that always give me hard time, but they'll believe anything they see on TV that the news puts out. Anything. Hmm? They believe in the moon landing. I don't know if you believe in the moon landing Which or one? not. Which one? Exactly. The real one that was never filmed, or the one that everybody thinks is real, that where Neil Armstrong called. Her. So your body language, tricky dick, you know, tricky dick. Richard Nixon never won. <laughs> Did they call him? Tricky yeah, dick? tricky dick. Yeah, Richard, Richard Nixon. Nixon. He was not okay. Crook. But anyway, yeah. what I'm saying is, how the heck did the cameraman film them landing on the moon? He was on there before them, so technically they they already debunked themselves. By your there. facial expressions and body language, you're you're not believing this, I'm are you? You're not buying up. it. I'm getting worked up because they tell me there's no there's no way Bigfoot could be real, and but they believe that the moon landing was real and that Neil Armstrong called from the moon above miles and miles, that hundreds and mi- thousands of miles away above all towers then, mm-hmm. and they flew up there in a, a an aluminum and a, a tin foil hat, pretty much. For all these tinfoil hat wearing people that wear a worse tinfoil hat than me, if you believe the moon landing's real, because my God, the, the cameraman videoed him coming down. He videoed him taking off. I guess they just left the poor guy there. There's no stars. Uh, 
It was it, on live TV. Yeah, it was on live TV. Yeah. That that we can barely get live stuff going through the woods. And I think, um, but anyway, what I'm getting Oh, at, my God. I got to interrupt real quick. Yeah. This just blew my mind. Satellite TV. Yeah. So, with satellite TV. If a when, leaf when, falls in front of it, yeah, it freezes. Yeah, like it. It, or a storm, like a yeah. rainstorm. It breaks and pixelates and freezes. Yeah. Just think of all the stuff that's supposed to. That's now. Yeah, that's now. That's oh. now. And we've lost the technology. That is that, the, is that what they get, say? Yeah, to ever get back to the moon. There's and how do you I, lose that? You exactly. They've lost the technology, and they've lost this technology, Tate. And they say that they can't. Ha- they don't have it anymore. But we can build bombs that can wipe out cities. We can build ho- uh, headsets. You can virtual reality, and you can you can build submarines to go down. Apparently, you can't. But you can build stuff to go down to see the Titanic and. All this stuff, you know, and <laughs> too soon. But I don't probably too soon. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, anyway, they give me a hard time about believing in Bigfoot, but they believe in the moon landing. And man, there's so they many all believe holes. in the moon landing. Yeah, they all believe in the moon landing. There's so many holes to the moon landing videos. Like Buzz Aldred, he there's videos he said that they didn't go to the moon. Did he confess on his deathbed? Was that him? Uh, he confessed a couple times before his deathbed. I'm okay. not sure the deathbed okay. confession. But okay. Neil Armstrong, he acts weird about it in interviews. Mm-hmm. Um. There's just so he's very many skittish holes. in interviews yes, about it. He's so very skittish. Holes. I think I just don't believe that we've we were in a race with the Soviet Union and there's yeah true, okay true. And the stuff that they're driving around why is it not floating up because they're bouncing why is the 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 stuff that they're using not bouncing and if I was trying to be scientific I would say gravity gravity who's to say gravity why okay if no, that's another conspiracy I'm not getting in, in, into. Okay, you're chock full of them. Yeah, we we'll got to do a conspiracy a week theory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, the way I look at gravity is why are we not just laid on the ground? How can we walk if gravity's like you know what I'm saying? Like nothing falls until you knock it off and it falls. That's gravity pulling it. No. Nah. Nah. Is it what then do you why believe? Why are we not getting pulled down to the ground right now? Because we're already stationary. Our feet are on the ground. We're in this aren't. chair. Yeah, you're holding it up. We're you not had falling back. Anyway, I'm not getting ability. into this one then. Yeah. I'm not getting into this one. It's a theory. Uh, Everything's theory. I, I, like, listen. But anyway, there's no... Okay, why did they not video the uh, moon from outer... From whenever, they're, whenever they were on the moon, why did they not video the Earth? They just took it. They snapped a little fake picture that, where it looks like a little freaking gnat. But they little, talked to Richard Nixon on the phone. Yeah, they talked to Richard Nixon on the phone. Though. The red phone. But anyway, what if you believe phone? in the moon landing, but you don't believe in Bigfoot, your head needs to be examined more than my head does. Okay, here's where I am on that subject. I'm okay. glad you brought it up. Okay. For this conspiracy theory, I'm going to go with, I believe we have been to the moon. Yeah. I believe we've been multiple times. We've done stuff on the moon. Mars, what have you. Mars, no. Well, you know, well, they can take pictures. They photo match pictures. Well, of now countries. wait, now that's what I'm that's and what I'm saying. Red filter on. I it. believe I believe we've done a lot of things in space, yeah. but they're exaggerated. And by exaggerated, I mean they yeah. w- we've been there and done that, but also like the moon landing you see, the famous one step for mankind, all that crap. Yeah, that's in a studio. Yeah, so I, I believe that. I believe that they believe that that happened though, and they believe that. Uh. They they stream they actually believe that part is real. Okay, so here's the here's the question of okay. the day for you then. Is so when when it comes to around the same when it comes to videos conspiracies yeah. in the sixties. Okay, which one are you buying, Patterson Gimlin or the moon landing? Patterson Gimlin because like because I know your history of Patterson Gimlin. Yeah, I would buy that over. I would buy the Patterson Gimlin over that. Look, Patterson Gimlin's an, another story. I mean, mm-hmm. we're already hated. We're already the the we're already in the early stages of being Elvis of the Bigfoot group. Everybody hated it of the Bigfoot world. Everybody hated him when he first started, but we're starting to change it. Us and a few other people are starting to change this, bringing that new school, shaking our leg, you know, shaking a little leg on TV, showing a little leg, showing shaking a little, a little leg, showing a little yeah. meat, yeah, yeah, showing a little meat. I would buy because all the holes that are in the the. Just a, the just space period. There's no real pictures of satellites. There's no real pictures of the Earth from outer space. There's no videos. Uh-huh. All you get is that close up fish eye that makes it look round. That's mm-hmm. another story. That I'm, but I'm not Kyrie Irving, like I've already told you, close multiple times. It sounds to me like you've been on TikTok quite a bit. I have, and yeah. I think that that's part of the reason they want TikTok banned because the truth's starting to come out, and, and everybody's asking questions. Yep, and everybody's asking True. questions. We're Valid not in point. that. We're not those robots anymore building socks and furniture. 
You know what I'm saying, man? Well, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm I'm not going to 100% agree with you on this subject, yeah. but I'm not going to 100% disagree with you. That's something we I'm can in the middle. People. I'm on the like, fence. That's a great question. Would you believe this Patterson Gimmel footage that's flashing up right now? Look at this thing walking. I mean, man, you can see the muscles and everything. Or do you believe that Richard Nixon here in the White House is talking Mr. Neil Armstrong on the moon from a landline and this little bitty picture of the earth that they took, but they couldn't flip the, the cameraman that man. they left and the little tinfoil <laughs> box that they took off in? See ya, Neil. But how did they live broadcast it to TVs? And because it was all pre-recorded in the studio without the stars and the dudes and their little ropes and... I don't believe in NASA at all. NASA, don't ever come to me. You can come to the rest of the squad chargers. I'm not picking them. Don't ever come to me to uh, partner with you because I'm not. I'm a Christian. You're the devil. I'm a Christian too. <laughs> I'm just a big conspiracy theorist, and that's what I love this show. But anyway, well, let's we're, move we're on into with Bigfoot, that. so we're yeah, we're yeah, technically yeah. conspiracy yeah, theorists. So we tied yeah, that back into are. Bigfoot. Yeah. Do you believe that the Patterson Gimmel footage is more believable than the moon landing? This is for skeptics mm. and Bigfoot believers. But- okay, so segue into the next topic real quick. We've done a lot yeah. in this space so far. Yeah, we've changed uh, the game. We, well, yeah, we changed the game. Uh, 14 years yeah. and seven years on YouTube. Yeah. What has been your most fun moment so far oh, in Squatch man. Watchers? So just speaking for me, and uh-huh. I, we've done some great things with the guys, David and Toby, but, man, I had a childhood hero, man. and I know you're going with this. And... Dude, I grew up watching him, man. I watched every play that he he ran for the Carolina Panthers. And whenever I reach out to Gary Barnage and he brought our boy D, now we're all best friends, man. We're all good friends, man. I, I love what they're doing with their, their ghost stuff now. But whenever – Skeptic Unknown. Skeptic Unknown. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. Go follow them. Mm-hmm. You know, whenever we went with D'Angelo and Gary – Whenever we talked to D'Angelo, whenever they came on the Bigfoot hunt, man, I, I think that's when we changed the game, man. And it's like – we became good friends with them and got to go on a Bigfoot hunt with my one of my childhood heroes. Now that, but now we're just friends. I don't even look at him that way. I don't ask him. Not to like mention, we found some of the best and, physical evidence ever yeah, with him. Yeah, and, yeah, and that that too is like changing them from skeptics in Bigfoot to still skeptic, but they're not not they're not a hundred percent sure that Bigfoot isn't real anymore. They're like. You well, know, I believe we had them from 100 to 90. I believe after hanging out with us and investigating with us, we got them so curious yeah. about Bigfoot and the unknown that yeah. they branched off in paranormal. Yeah. Like they, they're so what, curious, they're trying to figure out if it's taken. real. Yeah. 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 And we've mentored them on like certain ways to go at that. But mm-hmm. I mean, we bumped heads like because they're skeptic. Well, Gary is D believes in ghosts, but that's oh, a yeah, story. Does, yeah. We'll have to get yeah. those guys on here sometime, man. Yeah, hundred percent. And you know, uh, we used up to be, with them again. I love the guys to death. We man. used to help them out with skeptic, and now we're basically back to full time with Squatch Watchers. Yeah. But there's a potential collaboration, oh, maybe yeah, in the works. We've talked coming. to them. Maybe we'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah. yeah, but that was probably one of my funnest things. And man, like even this picture right here, like my goal now, we got this. My goal now is that picture that Paige took right there, and we'll get into all pictures when we talk about them eventually. Is we were talking to like 50 people in that picture and people at home that are watching this. We were in an auditorium and we were speaking to about 50 people that time. But I mean, we've spoke to like 500 at Marion Bigfoot mm-hmm. Festival that's coming up May the 18th again. I mean, we spoke to bigger crowds. But my goal is now is to get that full. But what's your most memorable moment? Mine was with Gary and D when they first came. Well, so my most fun moment, um, I have one and then an honorable mention one. You read my mind on one of them, but I'll go to the one that I'm going to talk about first. So back in the old days when we first started, that was my favorite just because there was just something different about then. It was just like less, I don't know what, the, like less worry, less stress. We went out there yeah. and just, we went out there and just investigated and documented Bigfoot. Yeah. It was before like all the yeah. mainstream stuff, yeah. which I still love it now. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun back then just getting to know David and Toby and, you know, us forming our family brotherhood bond we have now together. And that's my most fun moment. Yeah. But honorable mention. Uh, speaking of D and Gary, yeah. Tennessee, Tennessee, Urashrine. I already know what you're talking about. We took a break. Yeah, they're in a paranormal investigation at um the Urashrine. Uh, yeah. pretty creepy place if you haven't heard of it. Zach Baggins and Ghost Ventures got shut down from going there. Yeah, Rick didn't want they them there to kick Rick out. Yeah, yeah. They, they 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 and Rick kicked them out. Yeah, <laughs> I love Rick. I love Rick too. Shout out Rick. But yeah, um, <laughs> we go to a casino to take a dinner break, and they're making a big deal of all of us. Yeah. Squatch watchers and NFL players and skeptics yeah. all together, maxing the one. So we get there. D comes in late. So we're without D. So yeah. it's just me, you, and Levi, our manager. 
Levi was there. The mole. The mole, the manager, the molager. So Levi comes in with me and you, and then you got Gary. Yeah. And a ring of security guards. Yeah. But Gary was dressed... He not was really, dressed like, a, like, like a retired wear. Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, yeah, yeah. So, a uh, Steven Seagal. So, <laughs> Gary was like hovering between the the ring up front. He was hovering between the ring of security guards yeah. and with us. But then you he had... He looked like air security because he's yeah, so dang big. Yeah, yeah. And then you had me and you, our squad trotters yeah. gear on, and Levi... And in the, in the, the middle, two security guys, and everybody's looking at us, taking pictures, pulling up the phone, looking at Google, and yeah. we look like Elvis walking into a freaking casino. And, and the best the part, they walked us right through. My my favorite part, even beyond that, is the man in the, blue, the, 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 man in blue, the security say. guard, the guy that stood there when D got there with us. We was all sitting there eating. That would just stand there, and make sure nobody approached oh, us, God. nobody tried to mess with us. Yeah, yeah. He stood like those guards over there at the. Do you uh, have a picture of him? I think I may still have it. I took, I, just a, I snuck one of them because I, I didn't want like should just be straight taking a picture of it. And I, I sent it to my family, it. so I need to see if I can find yes. that or you can find. It. We can throw it up here right now. Yeah. Shout out, man, Blue. Yeah. We appreciate everything you yeah. do, man. And thank you, Gary and D, for yeah. tying us dinner that night. Oh, um, speaking of fun stuff, we are, I guess, sponsoring or collaborating with. A four wheeler racing yeah, group, Tim yeah. Franklin, yeah, the Franklin brothers, yeah, yeah the Tim Franklin and Jamie. brothers racing. Yeah. They started their yeah. own YouTube channel too. Yeah, go check them out. Well. Yeah, shout uh, out. He's got a yellow uh, four wheeler, and he he's in the C class and mid east racing, mid east hair scramble, and I think they're going to do a GNCC race coming up. And uh, man, so he put the Squatch Watchers, the one that's on your hat, the SQW logo. On his, the side of his tank, I mean, it's made into his graphics. It's not like he just printed a sticker off and smacked it. Um, it's on the, the side, man. It looks mean. It looks so tough. And I can't wait for him to win with it. And the Squatch Archers logo right there because we just broke another boundary. Our goal, shout out Dale Jr. If you're listening to this, we're, by God, we're wanting to be on there with Sun. 100%. Yeah. Undo percento. Yes, yes. That's a goal. We're from Hickory yeah, 2 where NASCAR yeah. started. Haley Diggin. Shout out Haley Diggin. Shout out Haley Diggin. Yeah. Haley Diggin. Yeah. We'd love to be on y'all's yeah. cars. We're local. But anyway, we're going to be on Franklin Brothers Racing on his uh, quad, and he, he races C-Class, and it's just a beginning for us that we've always wanted to do like a sponsor like that, and it looks so cool. This video looks cool that we're showing probably right now. I don't know. For and viewers at home, just go to – go. I mean, people that are just listening, go to Franklin Brothers Racing on YouTube, and he should have a new video coming up soon with us in, on the side of it, man. I'm so excited. we got to go watch him race. So, yeah, shout-out to Franklin Brothers yeah. Racing and Tim and Jamie. Yeah. Shout-out yeah, to them. Yeah, because Jamie – Check them out. Yeah, they're yeah. good friends. We grew up with them. Yeah, and, 100%. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's something cool for viewers at home, and yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're going to have an email soon for this podcast. It'll be whatever I decide to make it tonight or tomorrow, and it'll be in the next episode. You can email that podcast email and give us your comments, questions, concerns, um, share videos to us, and we can post them and talk about them and tell what we think about them, um, all that good stuff. So email coming soon. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. with the email, and then the name of the show. The name of the show. The name of the show. We haven't named the show yet. Yeah, no. Yeah, but you had a good one the other day. I mean, I liked it. It was pretty you cool. Did? You liked it? Yeah, I mean, it was cool. I mean, okay, uh, so people are going to think it's you know bull hockey, well, but you know. well, let's, let's 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 look at it this way. So we're squatch watchers. Yeah, we're we talk Bigfoot. Watchers. Bigfoot. Okay. And stories. Stories, um, stories about our lives, stories about stuff. Theories. Yeah, conspiracy theories. Yeah, you're gonna get to know all of us. Yeah, as big squatch watchers. So and, and friends too. So you like the idea of BS with Taylor and Tate? Yeah, BS with Taylor. BS and Tate. stands for Bigfoot stuff. Yeah, yeah, Bigfoot stuff with Taylor and Tate, or Bigfoot, Bigfoot stories. stories. Bigfoot or, stories with Taylor and Tate. Let's go. With yeah, that. Bigfoot stories yeah, like with Taylor that. and Tate, like or just squatch watchers unplugged, or you know, like, <laughs> or the housewives of squatch watchers. Yeah, I mean, or, it, yeah. Because it's not just because it's Bigfoot stories with Taylor and Tate or Tate and Taylor, whichever one, it don't bother me. Um, it just because it's that don't mean it's all about Bigfoot. No, it's not. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is this is just to um, have a podcast each week, um, make yeah. you think about different things that are going on in the world or have happened in the world. Send us stuff. Send yeah, us send videos us asking it's, us questions. We'll throw your video up on the the podcast. Yeah. And listen to the question, kind of like our boy Theo does. It's a community, yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. ask the question. Yeah. Like, yeah, we want to get some questions from so you that'd be, that'd be good, cool. That would be a good thing for the live stream when Levi yeah. gets the live stream going in. Yeah, 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 So, yeah, we'll promote it and talk about it at the end of every month. We're going to try to do a live stream podcast. Yeah. Q&As, all that good stuff. Yeah, the mole. Levi, the mole. The yeah. bouncer. <laughs> He's going to bounce your questions out of here. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man, but... I think something, I mean, that's a cool way to end this. We're in this again. 
People will hate us. People will love us. But we're in this at the end of the day to bring our 100,000 people something else and to bring people to get their minds off of things and to get them out in the woods with us, to get stories of us told. And we're going to go into so many Squatch Watcher stories with David and Toby behind and the mine scenes. and yours, behind the yeah. scenes stuff, arguments that's happened that hadn't been seen, uh, just stuff that happens. And it's like, just get to know the Squatch Watchers, get to know, get being the, get in the shoes, getting ahead of what Bigfoot researchers go through, how we enjoy it, how we get picked fun, just like the conspiracy theory stuff. And, I'm excited. It's all fun. Yeah, yeah, it's all fun. Yeah, and so I, I want to do something before we wrap. Let's pick one thing and why it means to you on our table. Just to, that'll get people to know, get to know us. I like it. Go yeah, ahead. You, you go, go first. You go first. Go first. Go first. Um, and I'm, I'm, we'll I don't have stuff, everything. Take stuff away. Yeah, I don't have everything on here yet that I want to have on here. Um, I got four things. We'll really go with Muffin got. from Bluey. Okay. Kim got it for me because I like Muffin on Bluey. I watch Bluey. I do too, but I have, you a, hear I have first. a two-year-old I watch Bluey. named Riley. Shout out, Riley. Well, Daddy yeah, Blue shout out. She's asleep right now. Shout out, Riley. Yeah, she was We're upset earlier. Yeah. She was pitching a fit. Yeah. yeah. She was wanting to be with Daddy. Yeah. So what's your special? Um, So I'm going to go with something just personal for me. Um, As you know, I've always loved like The Walking Dead and stuff. 100%. And uh, now John Bernthal... You know, I liked him before he's like become Punisher and all that. I find these like back in the music old Shane artists. Walking yeah, Dead days. Shane Walking Dead yeah. days. And got to meet John Bernthal. I'm a huge Punisher fan. And so shout out John John Bernthal. He's got his uh his podcast. Maybe we can get on there and talk Bigfoot soon. Or hundred percent. That'd be fun. Maybe one day he can come on here and tell us why he don't believe in Bigfoot and we can argue with him, you know? He might believe in Bigfoot. Heck, I don't know. But I like John Bernthal. I named a dog after Frank Castle. I like the I love the Punisher. I like John Bernthal's rendition of the Punisher. I like his his uh-huh. his Punisher. I know he freaking kills it. But um, so you're I named choosing, my dog after. Frank so you're Castle. choosing John Bernthal over your wife? On That'll the come later. I, they know Paige from our videos. Yeah, but I mean, I've got a picture with Riley up there. You uh-huh. know, yeah. but people, yeah, that's me. Punisher means a lot to me. It's really John Bernthal. Yeah. He's a hero of mine. I got to meet him. We talked about boxing whenever I used to do it a little bit, and but I never like. Fault box. I just took boxing. Poser. Classes. A poser. Took boxing class. A poser guy. We talked for a while. We didn't talk about yeah. Walking Dead. Nothing like that. You know, we've got some experience around pe- know how to know how to act. We don't just. But anyway, that's another story. I love the Punisher. So I've got Punisher. Okay, I got a question real quick. They're both on table. I should have talked about it. Star Lord or Punisher? Ooh. I love Chris Pratt. Like, I do I too. Took, I took that's, my that's Star-Lord. That's why I put him on the table. I took my Star-Lord. Star-Lord the man. My mini Star-Lord off the table just because you put the cool one in. Oh, man. I'm going to go for Chris Pratt just because he stands for the same things we do. I, John yeah. Bernthal. I've, yeah. I love John Bernthal, but he Chris Pratt's just more open about his Christianity than uh, some of these guys, and I love well, Chris Pratt for that. Is 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 John Bernthal's puncher like tied into Marvel? Yeah, they're supposed to cross over. Well, wait, Daredevil and Spider Man, yeah, right? They're Marvel. Yeah. Interesting. I've heard there's so many theories they canceled it, but they're filming again. Interesting. And I got to yeah. like because of him, I I was on The Walking Dead. Yeah. And just that's what got me that character on season two. I started watching late season one, and it already introduced him, and I was hooked ever since just because of John Bernthal's Shane on The Walking Dead, and I got to be a part of it and. People at con seem to love that whenever we put out that stuff. So, yeah. What was your character name, Walking Dead? I was a savior. You were a savior. Yeah, I was oh, a savior, yeah. and then I was a good guy too. So, yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, I got killed off. I yeah. was a savior. I didn't have a. I've always thought line. it was cool. Like I've always thought you should part of the promote Walking it. Dead family. Anytime we go to cons, you should yeah. promote it. I've always thought it was yeah, a cool. I was killed off. Yeah, yeah, it was cool, cool feet, man. man. It was a cool experience. It was cool. I got the and I. Yeah, it's just fun. It's fun. I love doing it. And, yeah, I'm a Bigfoot researcher. And, you know, I work a job. We all are working stiffs. But, yeah, so enough for me. We'll get to know our new viewers, wherever this is streamed on, whoever's watching this. Yeah, we'll so real to, quick, I'm yeah. glad you brought that up. So this this podcast is going to be on the main Squatch Watcher channel. Most YouTubers and the algorithm suggest that we should make a new, different channel for this podcast. Forget show. about it. No, nah, because here's my thing at the end of the day. It's going to pop up in people's feeds anyways. Yeah. And they don't they don't know the difference when they're clicking off. It's the Squatch Watchers main channel or BS with Taylor and Tate channel. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all it's the same. It's still going to have Squatch Watchers and, and here's the thing. This is the last piece that people Squatch were... Watchers. This is... Yeah, Squatch Watchers. <laughs> 
this is the last piece that people have been requesting from us to do yeah. on our channel as a podcast. So we're we finally got all the pieces yeah. lined together. We're bringing it to you now. So there's something for everyone on the channel. If you yep. don't like podcasts, just watch our hunts and forget house calls. It. Shorts, yeah, forget about it. Seems, if you like podcasts, yeah. get here and watch the podcast. We're <laughs> talking here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. And again, shout out to Franklin Brothers Racing. For, shout out uh, Franklin Brothers Racing. On his shout brother. out to Skeptic Unknown. Shout out to yep. Skeptic Unknown, D, Gary, Nick. We love what you guys are doing. 100%. Don't really know the other people that good. Um, no. Taylor, too. Uh, I don't know him that good, you know. Uh, shout out David, shout out Toby. Yeah, shout out David, shout y'all. out Toby. Be on here soon. Yep, we'll see y'all soon, and uh, thank you all for listening. Oh man, it's been a journey. This is the <laughs> this is the inaugural first podcast on the Squatch Wars channel. BS with Taylor and Tate. Yeah, we got some stuff coming up, and I'm excited. And get squatchy. Keep squatching. That's one small step for man, one giant leap.